Hi, welcome to the new part of link tutorial. In this part, we will learn about the left join and the left outer join. So let's start. We will learn what is left join, what is left outer join, and then we will create few examples of this join with the help of query syntax and the method syntax. First of all, let's understand what is left join. So in the left join, you can see we have two data sources. Suppose on the left side, this is the first data source and on the right side, there is the second data source and there may be some possibilities that there are few data which is common in both the tables. It means first data source has something related data in the second data source. But if you are performing left join, then all the records from the left data source will be the part of the output. If something is available on the right side as a related data, then that will also be part of output. If some data is not available on the right side as a related data for the first data source, then we will get null. So this is the graphical representation. Now let's understand the definition of left join. In left join or left outer join, basically left join and left outer join both are same because outer keyword is optional. So left join or left outer join both are same. Now let's understand the definition. In this join, all data from first data source is returned. Okay. So whatever is available in the first data source will be part of output regardless of whether it has any related data in the second data source. It means that this is not mandatory that each record of the first data source should have any relation in the second data source. All the records from the first data source may or may not have any data in the second data source. If few records or all records data is not available in the second data source, then null value is returned for the second data source. If some related data is available in the second data source, then that will also be part of output. If it is not available, then we will get null value. And the last point is left join or left outer join both are same because outer keyword is optional. So if someone asks you to perform left join or left outer join, then you have to perform only this thing which we are going to do in this part. Let's create a demo and let's understand how it works. Here I am in my Visual Studio and here I have created a very basic console application. In this console application, I have two classes. First, you can see I have address class. In the address class, I have two properties. First one is ID and the address line. You may have this a table in your database, but as of now, I am working with the in-memory data source. So I am using address as a class. Also, I have one more class which is student class and in the student class, I have three properties. First one is ID which is student ID. Second one is the name which is student name and third one is the address ID. This address ID represents the ID of the address class. Okay. And now let's create some data source based on these two classes. So here is the data source. I have few students. Suppose I have five students and I have few addresses so for each record there may or may not be some related data in the second data source so for example for the id 1 i have address id 1 and address id 1 is available in the second data source it means first record of the student data source has something related data in the second data source now if we talk about the third data which is id3 this does not have any address id okay it means this record does not have anything related in the second data source for the fourth record i have a data source which is id is 4 so let's update it suppose id is 3 okay and for the fifth for the last record, suppose address ID is 5 and this 5 does not exist in the second data source. So here we are covering all the scenarios that suppose ID exists, suppose there is no ID and suppose one ID which does not exist on the second data source is available over here. Now we have to perform left join on these two data sources. What is the requirement? So the requirement is I need to fetch all the students from the student data source and if something is available in the second data source, it means 
if address of the student is available then i need that address also if address is not available for any student then i need a blank data but i need the name of the students now to learn about the left join first you have to understand about the group join if you are good in the group join then you have to perform few extra operation on that query and you will get your left join let's start our demo with the query syntax so i'm declaring a variable suppose it is query syntax and now you know how to work with the query syntax first i have to use the first data source okay so from std in my first data source the first data source is students now i have to use join keyword and join address in second data source address on before that we have to use the link namespace system dot link address id equals dot id so this is the mapping which we have already learned in the previous parts and now we have to use into keyword just like we have done in the group join we have to do this thing in the left join also so student address okay and now we have to do something extra to perform the left join in the group join and now instead of selecting data from the add variable we have to select our data from the std address because there are possibilities that few records may or may not available in the second data source so we have to write some logic for this condition so from student address in our into variable so this is std address dot default if empty default if empty means this work with the reference and if something is not available as a reference in the second data source then it will return null if any data is available in the second data source then it will return that data now here you have to select your data suppose i'm selecting data anonymous so i need two things i need all the records from the student and if something is available in the right side which is address i need i need to select that data also so so student record is available in std and the address data is available in student address so instead of using add keyword you have to use student address over here okay and that's it just put it in a bracket and at the last just use to list method to execute this query and if i press f5 before that let me put a breakpoint over here so you can see we have five records why five records all the records from the first data source will be part of output that's why we have five records and now let's expand our data so for the first you can see we have student okay we have student address also so for the student we have first record and for the address also we have maria address now let's go to the second record which also has address and as per our data source second record also has a address now if we talk about the third one the third record does not have any address that's why we are getting null here and we are having complete record of the student similarly we have a data for the third record which is index 3 the fourth record and for the five for the fifth record we do not have any data in the address table that's why we are only getting student record and address is null in this scenario now if you need to select your data in your other class or in anonymous way then you can do suppose i need to select only the name and the address line so i can write name name is available where std dot name okay and now for the second suppose i need to select uh, let's change it student name and suppose i'm writing here student address suppose student address is available where in the second and the second one is student address so i have to use student address dot 
address line now if i press f5 let's see what happens i'm getting an error why i'm getting a null reference exception object reference not set to an instance of an object why because for few records student address may be null and we are performing null dot address line that's why we are getting this exception so before selecting you have to check whether student address is null or not if it is not null then we will select this data or we will be getting an a now let's press f5 and you can see in the query syntax we have five records we have a student name and the student address for the first second and the fourth record we have name and the address but for the third and the fifth record we do not have any address that's why we are getting an a here in the output this is how you can write your left join with the query syntax and now if you need to perform our query with the method syntax let's see how to do that so here i can write method syntax and as we have already discussed that before performing the left join you have to perform group join so first let's write the syntax for the group join and first we have to write the first data source the first data source is students dot group join and in the group join here i have to pass the second data source second data source is address here we have to pass the outer key selector outer key selector is std and std dot address id this is all we have already discussed in the previous parts and now add add dot id and now we have to select the data okay using the selector we have to select the data how can we select the data std comma add and using the lambda expressions new std comma add okay this is how we write our group join and now again we have to perform some logic for the default if empty because there is also some scenario that data in the second data source may or may not available so we have to write something for the second one so now we have to use select many and we have already covered select many in this tutorial in the seventh part in the select many you have to write x dot so we have both the data student data and the address data but you know everything in the student data will be available as an output but there are chances that something may be missing in the address table as a related data so there are possibilities that there may be few null values in the address so we will use address dot default if empty if something is not available then we will select null and now you have to write your selector over here again okay so for the selector suppose if i need to write student data comma address data so suppose first i am working with the anonymous way and here you have to use strand data dot std why because now we are under one step hierarchy and we have to use dot std then comma address data and that's it just use that dot to list method we have to use new keyword okay and then to list method let's just format it little bit so that it will be easy to understand okay and now let's press f5 so we will see in the ms we have five records and in the five records we have student and address data for the first second and the fourth record and for the third and fifth record we have only student data and the address data is null now let's verify the result in the address data we have all the address data and in the student we have all the data of the student similarly in the second record we have all the data from the address table for the second record and the details of the second student in the third record we have address data is null and the student record is available here the id is 3 
Similarly, if you need to select your data in anonymous way in your own properties or in your own class, then you can also write everything over here. And just remember, this may be null. So if you need to select any data from here, don't forget to use the null check over here. Now if you talk about the comparison of the query syntax and the method syntax, then I recommend you to use query syntax in this way because there are few chances that you may do something wrong in the method syntax. So query syntax is easy to use and straightforward because in the method syntax we have to go hierarchy by hierarchy. If you need to use one more table in this query then easily you can use that in the query syntax and doing that part in the method syntax is possible but this is not an easy job that's why i recommend you to use query syntax for the left join that's all in this part thank you for watching have a great day